Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Journey Marie. And today we're gonna to be reacting to Sopranos, episodes three and four, season two. It was getting pretty crazy, Um, what happened? Oh yeah, freaking crazy Janice, his sister, she's a freaking nut job. What's his name? Chris, he's on drugs right now. So it's just a lot going on. I'm excited to get into it, see what happens next. So yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel if you watch my videos and you're not subscribed yet. I really, really, really appreciate it. And let's get straight into today's reaction. Tony, Billy, thanks for calling. Sure, as soon as I found out it was your mom's place. Oh, there's a party going on at the mom's house? OD, friend says special K in ecstasy. Damn, Meadow, you got them type of drugs going on? Uh, 529-ers, you listen to the vehicle on uh, 75 North. Damn, it! I know she got drunk one time with Tony at that hotel, but... In your grandmother's house. It wasn't my fault. If I had a quarter for every time I heard that, since you learned to talk, I'd have a private jet <laughs> on 24-hour standby. Damn. <laughs> Is she okay? So she dying. In your grandmother's house. Now is repeating themselves. Don't talk back. Are you gonna tell me what she did? Go upstairs. No, I wanna see the fight. Anthony Jr., get your little ass up the- Boy, you better listen to your mama. It's not the time. Let her go to bed. Let her go to bed. I want her to answer for herself. She's drunk. I could have taken ecstasy, but I didn't. That's a great argument. Go to bed. She fools around with ecstasy and you yell at me? Get up there. <laughs> He's gonna get his little ass beat. You ground her, you gotta stay home weekends and be prison guards. And if you throw her out, the social services will bring her back and we be in front of the judge. That's your solution, to throw your daughter out? What? Y'all don't need to argue right now. It is pretty complicated. I did a lot of meditation in the can on this. On what? I can't believe how clear you see things. It's like something crazy finna happen. You're still crazy enough to take an eye out. What's going on here? I'm like, what's, why you so mad? And not even a pleasant go fuck yourself from you, I guess. You know, I always ask how you were doing. That's not the same as checking on me yourself. Uh, that's all right. Take it easy, kid. Bring this gentleman a nice veal palm sandwich. Don't try to kiss my ass now. It doesn't answer my question. I think he wants a piece of what he's making. I'm sorry, Richie. I will not be shutting down. Sucking up to Tony Soprano has done wonders for you. Damn. Put you in action, Beansy. You got a bad memory, Beansy. Let me remind you. I'm gonna fucking lay down. I'll step up. Ooh. What does that mean? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh. ah. Just threw a chair at him. Get down, huh? You want to lay down? You. Oh, you're gonna kill him. Damn. He's still sleeping. You're right. Go wake her up. I wake her up? Yeah. Can y'all agree on anything? Rather sleep. You guys are making too much of this. Oh, no, I don't think we're making. Mind your business. For every 20 wrongs a child does, ignore 19. There's an old Italian saying you fuck up once, you lose two teeth. And because she's exercised her independence, you wanna penalize her because. Well, she threw a party and a kid overdosed. Well. Well, well, well. I'm sorry, is it afternoon? Um, please. Yeah, maybe don't start with that. And then Steve shows up with his asshole friend Adam and a bunch of people from Bootin. Oh, so Steve's just walking around trying doorknobs till he hits the jackpot. Right, how do you hear about, she gotta take some responsibility. We're under a lot of pressure, okay? You try studying day and night to get into college. We've been working hard, we deserve a night. Okay, that could be true. And I think you should take away my Discover card. You better believe it. That's right. <laughs> How's she giving them the freaking punishment to give her? For guess. I have a feeling she just played them. Come here. Oh. I feel like we haven't seen this little table on this corner in a while. Out of respect for our friend here, I'm gonna talk nice. I ever hear you raise your hands to my niece again. Next time you won't see my face. Oh, damn, you heard about that? Who told you I put my hand on her? Is this kid getting jerky with me? Right, you should just be saying sorry. You give her your last name. 
then it's none of my fucking business. Until then, keep your hands in your pocket. What? Once you get married, you can beat her? That's old school? It's a good kid. Capable. Interesting, very interesting. It's feet. I keep getting these calls from my brother Jack's Jill. customers. Where the fuck are you going? I'll talk to you later, Richie. <laughs> well, damn. No more talking business with the skipper directly. Are you fucking with me? Oh, wow. He just got up and left. Where you going? The Palooch, this isn't the bank, huh? The fuck did I say? Hey, have you been? Ooh, this is awkward. No, they're leaving. Yeah. It's my first time here. The veal is excellent. What are we making small talk now? Tony, don't be an asshole. Yeah, you too. I guess you don't want them to know that that was his therapist, but they already know that you was in therapy. To Lou. Bye bye. A nice pipe for the lips. No disrespect. Hey, what do I give a fuck? How do they know her? Right. Am I right, Skipper? Yes. Yeah, don't know. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> Boy, you was never with her. Oh, she was good. Uh, right. I tell you. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Why the fuck are you busting my balls? It was a long time ago. Hey. You're asking too many questions. It might be a first ball job. Yeah, of course. How long did it take for the guy to come? <laughs> you hear that? Oh, that's messed up. I said, yeah. I said, how long did it take for the guy to come? <laughs> <laughs> Always repeating his damn self. What the fuck was that? God, I couldn't sleep all night. I was so embarrassed. What was so wrong with Toodaloo? It's an accepted form of goodbye. She's going to therapy and talking about the fact that she said Toodaloo. When you say C, do you mean that as in C professionally or just plain C? Both. I think Toodaloo was the action of a ditzy young girl. And I regressed into the girl. Well, why do you go to therapy if you can therapize yourself? Treating patients from a motel room may not have been optimum, but you were still there for her. You were in phone contact. Would have been the same if you'd been on vacation. Right. It's not your fault that they killed themselves. They were probably going to do that either way. Coming back down. And why is he in his sister's yoga class? And relaxing into child's pose. Stop staring at me. So, how long you been? At jail? One week. That's where I picked up this year. I feel like he's gonna be getting laid by her. Dread me always out to this place. I'm walking through the food court. There's fucking kids spill fried rice all over all right, me. Take it easy. Calm down, it's all right. You forget? When you and my kid brother stuck up Feature Lamont's card game? <laughs> Feature was made before the electric light. If it wasn't for me, He's such a, if it wasn't for me type of guy. I'll give it some time. Jeez, Anthony. You didn't do that for me. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> this, is, this is tense. Not yours to give me. Hey, prick, you reached out to me. Right, you need me. Don't get on Tony's bad side. How about you been out of the can 10 fucking minutes already trying to shake down Beansy for a piece of his pizza joint? Do me a favor. Back off. He's a good earner. Yeah, for you. Right, he's like, what does that do for me? Jesus fucking Christ, Richie, I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How's your sister? Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. What? He's taking a little far. Janice, how's she doing? Thought you were baiting me, you know. How's your sister? Fuck your mother. He was. Is he gonna try to get with the sister or hurt the sister or what? She's collecting the disability checks for her mom. Mm. But I thought she knew what Meadow did. Or maybe she assumed they cleaned it up. Janice. You know, if that was my child, you know what? Fuck this. You got a lot of fucking balls, you know that? Don't talk. Oh, God. You come right into town like some Vishnu come lately trying to play the concerned daughter. Who the fuck are you kidding? You're just here to pick the friggin' bones. She sure is. She's a vulture. Not gonna say. A lot of balls. 
Girl, you better be afraid of your brother. On us, as parents. I told you once already, how we discipline our children is none of anybody's business. Camilla is really level-headed. Mother of God, Janice. Are all of you Sopranos the same? Mind your fucking business. Keep your mouth shut when it comes to my kids. All right? Period. Because you're going to respect me in my house. We could get the fuck out. Me and Richie. Yeah, no problem. He's a good kid. So just because Tony didn't want to, you know, do what he wants, now he's going to go and talk to Junior? What are you going to do? Whatever you tell me. Snake. Two snakes. You tell me otherwise. I'm yours, Junior. Whatever, whoever. Wow, he got himself in a, another little minion. It's like the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Well, there's also a large Muslim population. That's enough. That's enough. And now for all you youngsters. <laughs> They're like, get him out of here. Who? Go. I'll hold this. Come on. Come on. Come on. What, some girl gonna give him a lap dance or something? Careful. Come on. He just did 10 fucking years. But you'll be all right. He's gonna be a problem for Tony. Okay, so more than a lap dance. Did we do something wrong? No, no, you were fine. Okay. He not gonna be satisfied until he get what he really wants. Hey, buddy. What the fuck are you doing? Come here. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. No, thank you. You want to talk like a tough guy, huh? huh? Tough guy. Uh -oh. Hey, come on. Please, no good. Oh, this guy's crazy. Run! I just wanted to apologize, you know, about earlier. Camilla is really mature. Like, she, I feel like she's changed a lot in a good way. I'll be all right. No, I'm sorry. I really, I can't let you leave. We well, can't make her stay if she don't want to. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, good night. Good night. She did want to stay. She was just put on the act. Oh, damn. He just stood there. Oh, this guy is crazy. Tony better be careful. He gonna get what he want. He gonna do what he needs to do to get what he want. Passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. Middle could kind of sing. What'd your parents finally say about last Saturday? The usual. Nothing. Start purging. They won't say anything. When are they going to realize that we're practically adults responsible for ourselves? Girl, you don't have any hand-eye coordination? So what's yours do? He took away my Discover card for three weeks. Oh, that's nothing. I know, it was my idea. Dick. So up a critical. Meadow is... She's a problem. Oh, why don't you ring for the nurse? Never you mind. Oh, Lisa, my daughter came all the way from Seattle. What does that mean? Who are you? <coughs> Richie. Richie April. Now he's visiting his damn mother. Wow. He had uh, cancer. Me too. Oh, oh shut that cat, will ya? <laughs> She's so rude private room my johnny would roll over in his grave if he saw this oh what do you know she did it to, to shame me i'll we'll have to have the tea without lemon he's really gonna go after the sister that's crazy and she's gonna be dumb enough to fall for it ma he's not one of dad's friends he's my friend you mean he's your boyfriend girl Oh, I wish the Lord would take me. Oh, fama, start the z. <sighs> you and me both. Well, you lay the same trip on everybody who comes in here. But don't you have any shame? Shame? Not at all. Plenty of shame. Believe me, you don't want to hear what I'm ashamed of. I sure don't. Anthony's one of these people who blames everyone else for anything bad in his life, including his mother. Tony, no. She's going to open her big mouth and tell him a bunch of crap. You want any yoga? I'm very busy with my mother. Too busy for dinner? 
You and I weren't good for each other 20 years ago. Oh, so they had a fling before. Be ridiculous to decompensate now. I, I am so not that person anymore. Is that right? I mean, did you ever think you'd see Richie April doing a downward facing dog? Mm hmm. This is all a play and a ploy. Oh, you mean your aunt doesn't think you get punished enough? That party wasn't my fault. How many fucking times do I oh. have to say it? Excuse me? She's getting out of control. Yeah. What's your problem? Nothing. She has an attitude problem. And she is playing him like a fiddle. How about she goes back to wherever it was she was hiding for 20 years, while I took care of our mother? I thought we weren't supposed to mention Grandma in this house. Boy, you better mind your business. If you want to leave, then you're going to have to tell her, because I'm not. It's not Christian. Well, see? This shit works out. She's a Buddhist. Hello? <laughs> so stupid. Thought it was cruel to pick flowers. Richie brought them to Ma. They're beautiful, aren't they? Richie. Mm-hmm. He's playing with your whole family. How's your sister? F your mother. What's wrong with him? Another panic attack? This isn't good in the rain, Tony. Pull over. Why would you not pull over before you lost consciousness? This isn't real, is it? This is her dream. She's dreaming. She feels really bad. She feels like she abandoned him and he's just gonna have a panic attack and die. She must be having a lot of nightmares about him if she's freaking journaling it. I know she'd be probably analyzing her dreams like crazy. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Mm, he's still alive. How you doing, pal? You said he wasn't gonna bother me, Tony. <laughs> he thought he wasn't. <laughs> you gonna let that animal get away with this? Tony thought he could just talk to the guy and the guy would listen, but... I'll let you talk to your friend. Tony gonna have to take some action, do something, because he's out of control. Got run over by a forklift, broke his back. Guy's dancing uh, tango competitions. He's trying to make him feel better, but... Here. Uh, I can't do it. Can he even... Uh, can't even pick it up. That's so sad. Come on. <laughs> Thanks. That's really sweet. I might not be able to wipe my own ass, you know that? Your nose is as far as I'm willing to go. No. <laughs> right. Don't expect me to do all that now. Huh. Uh. Tony's really good with, with like humor in dark situations. Helps lighten the mood a little bit. Mate, you a thousand percent sure it was Richie April driving that car? A thousand percent? A million. A million percent. Let me tell you something, Tony. He's lucky I ain't no rap fuck. Hey, don't start talking foolish. Don't go trying to snitch or anything. I did. Then I put it in drive. Oh, you think this is funny? That guy might never walk again. When's the last time you visited anybody in the can, Richie? When's the last time you gave a fuck about anybody or Richie? Woo. You want to talk about this old school bullshit about the rules? Well, here's a rule you might remember. I'm the motherfucking fucking one who called. Yeah. And you better pay me the respect that I gave your brother or we're gonna have a, a problem. problem. A bad one. 
Uh huh. Because if you really respect the old school, you're going to respect me and you're going to, you know, fall under the command. But he ain't trying to do all that. He's trying to go behind his bag, talk to his sister, talk to Junior. Is that metal? Wow, I'm surprised she's doing that. 